what's up everybody, it's CrossCurrent playing some more Barony. Today I'm going to be talking about the Accursed class, specifically the Vampire Accursed. This was suggested by someone commenting on the last video named Candyman. I'll try to show you in the middle, during, or at the end of the video. Thank you for the suggestion. Uh, I'll be doing another Barony video, one or two more, minimum. Uh, please post below what you would like to see a video of. Drop a sub if you like my content. Drop a like if you like this video, share it with your friends if you think they could use it, and comment for anything else involved. Now let's get right into it. So the Accursed, you can play as two separate, uh, I believe two separate races. Now, I wouldn't see any reason to play as human, mainly because there's a main thing about the Accursed, which is the curse, shockingly. It's basically vampirism. You need to keep having blood or you lose health. Now as a human, I'm not entirely sure how that would work. That might mean that you have to eat, you take in blood because you're a human vampire or you have taken food. I have no idea. I think that's just a weird idea. Vampires are stronger than humans on almost every level aside from swimming, which will immediately kill you. Well, very quickly kill you. All right, so we're playing as a vampire, playing as a curse. If you finish the DLC, guys, let me know what you think about the other races. I will try them out when I get to that stage. Also, if you want to play Barony with me, I am looking for people to go on a hardcore run and also to go for a long run in the game to get to the extended ending. I have always tried this and people have always left and it's always left me losing. That being said, guys, here we go. A curse. We'll call him Sleeves. Why not? He's got them. All right, starting off, guys, we have a horrible curse. Okay, yeah, horrible curse right there. But this greatly impacts all of our statistics. Now, starting off, our for male and female, I have the statistics different this time. I'm going to go over all the statistics in comparison. So for male character, the strength is minus one. For female, it's minus two. For dexterity, male has minus three. Female has minus two. Constitution. Male has minus two, female has minus two. Intelligence, perception, and charisma are the same as well. Where uh, intelligence is 10, perception is minus one, and charisma is zero. So basically the difference here is the man is a little bit stronger and the woman is a little more dexterous. When it comes to the skills, there is a level 40 in stealth. That's a skill that people tend to not use, but is amazing when it comes to being the accursed. Reason is, if you backstab someone by stealthily holding shift bar, you, you're going to want to hold shift, like, let me pick up a torch for you so you can see. You hold space bar. That's essentially like you sneaking up on someone. So if you do that, they're turned away, they don't notice, their back's turned, you can do a backstab bonus against them. And if you kill them with that backstab bonus, you get blood. Now, blood is obviously used to keep you alive. So, if you're going through the game slowly, I would definitely suggest focusing on backstabbing. If you're going through the game aggressively, best of luck to you. I know you can still drop blood from enemies who are not backstabbed, but it is much harder to do that. Now, the other skills, there's 20 in appraisal, nothing insane, but it does allow you to speed up a little bit, which is... You, you got a clock that's ticking right here. I already took three hits, and I barely started the game at a minute and 15 seconds. Uh, casting is at 40, which is phenomenal. Magic is at 70, which is amazing. So you can learn that Dominate spell pretty quick, and you have access to basically every spell book you'll ever pick up in the game, with the exception of a couple. Uh, unarmed you have at 40. Now, I don't think you'd want to always go unarmed. If you get it to 100, that's fantastic. The final ability is being able to have an additional 5 attack and paralyzing. But I don't think it's super necessary. You're not even using magic to go insane. As a vampire, you also have levitation and bloodletting. Uh, bloodletting will inflict bleeding, which makes, at the very minimum, an increased chance to kill enemies. Uh, what increased chance to get blood from enemies that you kill. And the levitation spell is fantastic in the fact that you can just keep uh, spamming it. 
for levels. Now, if you're in a group of friends and you're playing with uh, Keep Inventory on Death, or even not, you can spam it to where you instead use your health down the road. The Vampire has the ability to siphon its own health to cast spells. So, you could just levitation until you completely die, spawn the next level with half your health, and then you gained a lot more levels. Why not? Now, let's get to the inventory of the character. Sorry for bouncing around, guys. I'm messing up today. So you got three portions of Polymorph, which are used to look like a human. And I believe also lets you to be a human at this point in time. So if you are dying from the curse, this, this might be able to counteract it for a little bit. Uh, spellbook Invisibility. The main, the main reason for having that is because if you're invisible, they'll lose track of you. And it can almost always go behind them, backstab them, get more blood. So there's a lot of weird combos within the game. Uh, it's less spammable because it takes two mana instead of one mana, but it's still very strong. Uh, two potions restore magic, so you shouldn't have to siphon unless you're stuck against Baron Herx at the end. Uh, the suede boots seem to do nothing. Suede gloves, again, seem to do nothing. And the duble seems to be doing nothing. If there is something that those do, please let me know. I do not play as a curse pass very much. I just know from Wall of Justice and other mods who stream the game, that, um, hey, now I see what they do when I try to take it to heart. Alright, so the other gear, I believe I went through all the gear. You have three vials of blood, I don't know if I brought that up. Um, sometimes you'll see a green, sometimes you'll see a red, either way it's the exact same. Uh, there is a cure to vampirism within the game, if you go to... I believe it's level 16 or 17, there's an extra bonus room. If you check my video with how to get the three orbs, it's inside the Mystic Library. Be sure to check that out. Uh, I wouldn't suggest using it though because you probably don't have a lot of human-based items as a vampire at the end of the game, and that will reset the curse, making your stats borderline awful. But you do get a hefty achievement for it on Steam. Alright guys, that being said, I'm going to restart the game so I don't have all that lost health real quickly. We're going to see what the heck happens. Uh, be careful with drinking water. Don't drink water from fountains because it counts it as holy water. Silver arrows will purge you, smite you, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, just utilize your abilities the best you can. I do not believe that skeletons will drop blood because, well, they don't have blood. I know with that spider room, if you're taking the game slow, I would definitely suggest using every single spider room to get as much blood as possible and kind of stockpile it. But yeah, you're definitely, you definitely have increased attack, health, etc. Oh, yep. Yep, good stuff, but not perfect. That's uh, funny bones. Alright, so these basic levels is very hard to actually get uh, vials of blood unless you have rat levels. There being funny bones, I don't see a lot of rats, whether he killed them or they just didn't spawn. If you guys do have hunger turned off, you'll still take damage from the curse, so uh, it won't make a difference there. They did think about the game and anticipate people to try to work around that. But there is definitely a bonus of 3 strength and 3 dexterity due to being a curse, which may increase over time, who knows. 
Uh, I do. I have heard many people tell me that the Accursed is amazing for speedrunning due to their additional benefits as well. One second. As well as their magical abilities, everything you can get to level 100 casting considerably quick. You can appraise things very quick as well. I don't need food. Food, I just pick up for appraisal at this point, nothing else. They also don't swim in water, you don't want to die. Um, wood. So I suggest against that. Actually, I do believe that this game mode might be easier if you have hunger turned on. I think otherwise, I don't, I don't know why, just prove me wrong if I'm wrong on this, but I think that it'll trigger less. Well, back up, buddy. Right now all it's doing is healing me for 5 health instead of actually healing me all the way and having a better time with it. I'll have to try that later on guys. Let me know in chat if you already know the answer so you can help people who do not know. Alright, let's get to level 5 so I can uh, see what's up. Huh. Mine town, uh oh. Now we're gonna be human now. I don't want to spend a lot more time in here, but that's... Oh, so you do still take damage from the curse. Sorry about that, guys. I suppose I was incorrect about uh, avoiding damage when you're human. Alright, there's other humans. Who cares? We gotta go. Constitutional takes strength. Oh, Ooh, Silver Arrows. I would have been bad if I was trying to fight him regularly. Um, vampires are also very good for a long run on the uh, non-classic edition, just so then you can possibly recruit a vampire. It's helpful that they're very strong. Oh, hello. You have a lot of dexterity even as a man down the road, so be sure to utilize that. Don't carry too much stuff. Just use what you can. Drop it and move on. Ooh, sleep! I don't even know how if sleep works with uh, backs out of the way. I think it does. Oh. Alright, level 5. Guys, I'm just going to see this one uh, little idea I have with sleep. To see if it does in fact work as a backstab mechanic. 
Um, these are the levels you guys are going to hate, especially as being a vampire. Oof. No, you foolish human. Foolish human. Human friendly fires off. Oh, nope. Okay, it does work, chat. All right, guys. That being said, I think the basis of this character is all figured out. If you want to see me stream this character, be sure to comment below as well. Check me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash crosscurrent. I stream typically on Monday nights as well as Wednesday nights. I also will do one stream on the weekend, but that's a little I'm a little unsure on what day that'll be, potentially Sunday nights. Thank you guys for watching. Please drop, smash that subscribe button. Smash that subscribe button. I'm really trying to get to the 1,000 subscribers mark. Uh, drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Share it with your friends if you think they could use it. Drop a comment on what you want to see and what you think I could improve. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>